<laughs> Hi guys, we're gonna do the intro to this haul a little bit different. You can see we're in a car. We are actually just now leaving Aldi. This was our very first time at an Aldi. It just opened four days ago here in our town. I thought it'd be good so Nate could give his uh, in impressions too. Uh, we definitely have some opinions. We just left. We didn't spend all that much, but I'll still show everything laid out and like the prices with everything for you guys. Uh, so please do give this video a thumbs up guys. We appreciate it. I tried to get a little bit of video clips of certain things that like we might talk about and I could insert for you guys too. Uh, what was your first impression when you walked in? Um, stuff was in boxes. It felt like a grocery outlet. Yeah. The moment I walked in. I agree. I was looking forward to the quarter thing, but I don't think they have that set up yet for the cart. They had like I a did. guy actually just like getting it out for you and stuff, but yeah. it had the whole like put your quarter in the cart thing and then you put it back and then you get your quarter back. Uh, so that's a thing. But you guys had already like told me about that. Everything was like in kind of like, you could tell it came in like boxes and they just kind of cut open the boxes instead of like lining things up. I hear that's part of like how they cut costs on things too. So I mean, that part doesn't I really bother that. me at all. Yeah. But just so you, you know, for me, my first impression, I would say like right when you walk in is all like produce. That was good. That was like a good first impression, right? Mm -hmm. It's all the good healthy stuff. But immediately after for myself, <laughs> and I'm just being honest, it was like flashbacks of how, I told them, of how we used to eat. And a lot of just, I'm sorry to say it, but kind of just that garbage food, you know, the processed food that is filler food almost. And don't get me wrong, we're not perfect and we still eat some things that yeah. aren't great for us. But I felt like I was walking into just a plethora of it, you know, <laughs> like it was just every option of bad <laughs> is <laughs> how I felt. And I just was like, oh God, okay, there's not much here for me is how, you know, I took it. Then we were trying to find specifically like the vegan options and stuff too. And there were some, and we definitely picked up what we could to share it with you guys, but there wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot. Yeah, I don't know. And so at the end too, we asked one of the guys like, you know, is this like a normal what we should expect and he was saying that like eventually they're since it just opened they'll kind of go based off of like requests from people of what they want and you they can get more of certain things in so we're kind of wondering yeah. if maybe that's what it was and, too and it the, even the way really even full. the way he phrased it when i asked it he he already knew yeah what i was getting at the moment i asked he was just like it was like oh no mm -hmm. grand opening we just we kind of got this and then we'll be able to order here soon but he like was he was reassuring that it wasn't the norm so yeah. we have to kind of take that into effect because for me i don't want to i know for a lot of us we go in and we have to like hunt for some of the vegan options and things like that i had to like i felt like i was digging yeah. to try and find stuff there was one frozen yeah. section of like all vegan stuff that was fine that was good but literally that was it everywhere else it was just meshed in with other things and it was very hard to find we got like a vegan cheese and a vegan sour cream but it was hard to find checkout was a little bit different not that it's like the end of the world but just to give you our impression like nate was very anxious about it he did not like I, it yeah sorry it's very shaky did not like that it was very much a they you put it on the belt they scan it they throw it right back into your cart and then there's like a counter where you can go bag it all yourself and he just didn't like it is this a make or break for many people of course not but again just giving you our feedback it was kind of funny he's like i don't like this no me, it was it was by far the biggest turnoff because yeah. when i load things in my cart and i put things on the conveyor belt thing Right? I put them how I want them to be. Go bagged. into the bags. I, I, I yeah. put them in the order nope. in which, and this guy was just like, oh, we're going to top rack <laughs> this. We're going to put this in the front of the cart, the back of the cart. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. And I got my cart back with, like, yeah. just, I was like, what the hell was he yeah. even thinking? Like, he actually, like, went out of his way to yeah. make it disorganized. And I, I don't know. And, and the whole counter, I get that that's a convenience thing or whatever. But, like, you're just, like, cramming people at the front of the store where the door is not my style right that's just me now again i think for i don't want to say that like i hated it or anything it just wasn't what i thought 
And but it's funny because a lot of you said you're either gonna love it or you're not. You know, it's just kind of one of those. It's for you or it's not. And I feel like I will want to revisit it and see if it does change a little bit of what kinds of things they have. But right now, I, I don't know. I mean, they did have some like trail mix stuff that looked pretty good and relatively, you know, cheap. But so does Trader Joe's. You know, around the same price and delicious options and all that. So there wasn't anything, again, that I saw that really set this up part from a different place that we already go to that makes me want to go back for sure however we definitely like I said picked up a bunch of their like meat alternative vegan friendly like patties and stuff what if those are amazing you know and, and different so I can't say that a hundred percent but just off the bat you oh. know like I there's nothing that's really standing out but uh yeah, Nate's not really about it. So I wanted him to give your, you know, his opinion to this a little bit. And, and I'm not sure yet. <laughs> yeah, for me, it just was really like, again, it just kind of like stood out as a lot of unhealthy stuff. Like I saw a ton of SpaghettiOs. Now, me and SpaghettiOs go way back. But, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but that's just kind of where like I saw that and then I saw it right next to other stuff that was just basically the same thing. And it just, it was like overwhelming of that. But at the same time, I also saw that they had like a lot of home products, like coffee makers, a panini maker, and like a lot of storage, like bins and shelves and a lot of home decor that was really, really good priced. I didn't really need anything, but that was kind of cool. I will say that was cool. It was. I it thought was. some of that was actually some yeah. pretty cool stuff. And like bath mats, and then they even have bedding and stuff, like just, you know, a small selection, but like they had it and it was pretty cheap. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I will say just my first impression, but that's what happens too. When you put, you know, put it up here before you even get there. We've been waiting for him to open this <laughs> yeah. for like a year too. Yeah. So we've been like, let's do let's it. Let's do it. I don't know. So we'll <laughs> see, but that's just kind of where I'm at. But I would love to hear from you guys too. Like things that like we must try from there. And again, mm -hmm. if, if ours, you know, in time gets it, that's great. And I would totally try it of course, but yeah, let us know the must have items, must not have items. Um, <laughs> uh, what you do like about it, what you don't like about it, please sound off. Cause that's really the point of this right now is just to share that, but I'm going to get this stuff home, lay it all out. And I'm I'll show you what we got. All right, so here is a quick layout of everything we got. I think off the top of my head, we spent like under 80, so it really wasn't uh, too much, but I should definitely show you what we got. Started with, again, the produce right when we walked in, which they did have a great selection of, they did. Uh, so we got a thing here of romaine hearts. Um, I did notice though that a lot of their stuff wasn't uh, organic, which is not a make or break for me, but I know for some people that is definitely something they look for. There was some options, but again, not for, everything and this was one of those items that they did not have but anyway I got one thing here of the romaine hearts and then I got a bunch of broccoli here uh they come in like little packs of like two crowns of them and I have been doing this in the air fryer, you guys. It is so, so good. Uh, I'm telling you, if you've never tried air fried broccoli, it is incredible. So I got a bunch of these this time because it goes very fast though too <laughs> when you do it that way. So we'll be set for a few days there. And then I got a thing here of asparagus. Love asparagus. It's good stuff. We were going to get more, but just so nothing goes bad, um, we just stuck with one for now. Got some of these gala apples here. We probably should have gotten more. I have just been so much on an apple kick. Here what kind of we have left those are ready to go like to the freezer now um but i have some green apples left here and then there's even a couple on that one too anyway we, i've just been eating a lot of apples my kiddo loves them too we each eat one at least one a day uh, so got some of those and then this was a weird one too and maybe it was just where it was stored or just on the truck or whatever but this one was okay this bundle of bananas but nate was like gonna grab more because again we've been eating a lot of those too and guys, they were so hot to the touch and they were so mushy because of the heat. And it was it was a little weird. I've never really felt that before. And we're like, yeah, let's not. This one was fine, but I think it was just the way that it was like stored before they brought it out maybe. 
it's a little weird <laughs> but got a thing of bananas i got some raspberries here these were a pretty good price again the strawberries did not look very good but they haven't looked good like anywhere right now it's they're going out and it's just not their time so <laughs> gonna say bye to the strawberries and then uh i got some zucchini here too i haven't bought zucchini in a while i used to buy this like all the time and always incorporate it and for whatever reason i haven't and i wanted it again so got four of those and then nate said at work the other day they had blackberries there and he's like i haven't had blackberries in so long and they were so good so he wanted a couple little packs of blackberries personally it's not the flavor like the flavor is good but i don't love them because i don't love all the seeds in them like they're just i don't like the way it feels in my mouth <laughs> That's what she said. Got some uh, blueberries here as well. You guys know I love my blueberries. Now I'd mentioned to you guys on yesterday's vlog that like I haven't had oatmeal in like three uh, weeks, which was true. And I bet you guys know when I did, I'd always put blueberries on it. Well, it's funny. I said that and it was true when I said it earlier in the week of that vlog, but I was just craving it, you guys, yesterday. And so it was like my first time having it after weeks and gosh, it was so good, but I was missing blueberries. <laughs> and so I'm bringing it back. I probably won't have it every day like I was, but maybe here and there. Anyway, it's just, if you follow me, you know, this is a big deal. <laughs> got some grapes here i got the uh red grapes and then some green grapes been on a kick of grapes too lately very very good and again something my kiddo really enjoys as well got some sweet potatoes which is something again i've been eating pretty much daily as well i did them in the air fryer last week um wrapped them in foil kind of like a baked potato but did them in the air fryer um just it was easy and they were really really good but admittedly i do think they are much better in the like just a pan fried like oh so good with a little bit of coconut oil and that chili lime seasoning i am telling you you just can't beat it uh, so got some more of that to make some more of that and you know what though it just kind of reminds me and we were talking about like some of their you know uh veggie patties and stuff i don't even think i saw tofu there guys and the reason why that reminded me is just because um, I usually pair that up with like a tofu scramble and I'm sure they had tofu. I feel like everywhere has tofu, but I didn't see it now that I just said that. Anyway, I uh, got some of these yellow onions too. I've been putting this in many dishes, including scrambles actually, and then got some of these green onions here. These were a good price. These were only like 50 cents, um, which is really, really good. And today is actually Sunday. This will go up tomorrow and uh, it is football Sunday and we decided we would do like a pizza tonight. So we saw this again right after the produce. It kind of went right into the breads and I saw this there and it looked really good and I was about it. So it's a two pack of the stone oven baked artisan flatbread. So then when we got this, I was like, well, we'll have to see, do they have any like vegan um, pepperoni and that kind of thing. And again, didn't ever find any, but I did find uh, the vegan mozzarella style shreds. I've never tried their brand, of course, what we also figured out. And again, you guys might know this if you already are shoppers at Aldi, but I believe this earth grown brand is kind of their store brand. And uh, most of the things that we got that are vegan friendly are by this brand again never have had it before but this off the bat does kind of remind me of what the trader joe's ones look like their mozzarella style shreds look like this to me too so we'll see and on those ones in particular i don't hate them but i don't love them so we'll see but i'm going to use that for this and uh, we'll have to just put some veggies and stuff on it and make it work, but I'm excited to try that. By the way, on the vlog too, I need to do dishes, but that is the oven I was talking to you guys about that I'm gonna show you more of this coming, upcoming vlog. Uh, isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty and <laughs> I love it, but we haven't used it yet technically and we're gonna do these pizzas in it for sure. So I will definitely share that with you guys again on the next vlog. Anyway, I don't know if I showed these little potatoes, but got some of these. Uh, we really like to have these too, just every once in a while. I got some of these little tomato sauces. They were like 24 cents, could not beat it. And just gonna season these up and use them as our pizza sauce for that, super simple. Saw that they did have a sour cream. Now sour cream is very like hit and miss in my opinion on like the vegan ones. Like some of them are 
bomb and some of them are terrible. So I'm really curious to actually try this and see where it, you know, goes on that scale. And uh, let me know if you've tried it though, what you think. Again, with some of the breads too, I saw that they have these sandwich skinnies, they call them. Basically they're 100 calorie little like flat breads. They're actually really, really good. Um, I like to have them sometimes just with like avocado, kind of like an avocado toast or even just peanut butter because peanut butter is everything. And uh, got some of these ciabatta rolls, which my kiddo loves. So uh, I don't really eat these too much myself anymore, but he seriously loves those. So got those. Uh, got some tapatio, just needed some more. This was like a really good price there too. I will say some of these things definitely you could not beat the price, that which is awesome. Um, but then other things too, I think that's at most stores though, like other things were not uh, the best price, you know, it's kind of funny how certain things are, certain things aren't. And I think that's how they get you, <laughs> uh, but got that. And then here is where we got into some of the, uh, frozen items that they had a vegan section actually dedicated to. And, uh, this is again, the earth grown brand. I got these soy protein burgers right next to this one. They did have a vegetarian, uh, option. They almost look identical. So I glad I caught that and I'm glad they put this up here on top. So it makes it easy and I noticed it didn't have that. So again, it made it kind of quick and easy to know which ones are and which ones aren't. So I like that. And yeah, I have not tried these at all before, but the soy protein burger, 16 grams of protein on them, just if you want to see the macros too. 100 calories is really, really good for um, you know a higher protein patty. Usually they're a little bit more calories. So I'm excited to try those. Got the black bean chipotle burger. Be interesting to see if it's kind of similar to the Gardein ones. We'll see. Um, just to show you the macros if you're interested as well. 150 calories and only two grams of protein in this one though. And then uh, the meat-free chickenless tenders. Now at glance, they kind of look like the Gardein ones as well. And I'm curious to see how they, you know, compare. So we got those for that reason. And again, macros there, three tenders, 190 calories, 13 grams of protein. I think that's pretty much like the Guardian ones too. And then the meat-free chickenless patties as well. Kind of looks like the breaded uh, Boca ones a little bit. 190 calories, 11 grams of protein, a little higher in fat. But that's okay, it's breaded. <laughs> and uh, also, you guys told me that their meatballs are very, very good there. And they had two flavors. They had the classic and they had the zesty Italian that they're very similar to the Trader Joe's ones as well, which I love. So I did go ahead and get both of those to try out as well. So we definitely stocked up on this stuff just to try it for you guys too. So I'm, I'm curious how those will all rank. <laughs> I also did see that they did have, this is our like go-to must-have coffee for cold brew coffee. Now we've kind of cut back on it because it is getting cooler. So we drink a lot more hot coffee, but we get this like every week at Vaughn's, which is just kind of the place we go to for fill-ins, right? And uh, they always have it there. Now this was about 50 cents cheaper there, which was awesome. So it's cool to know that they actually have this there. And I don't even think they had the other one. This is the unsweetened one, which is what we like. And I, there's always like a sweetened version too. And I don't even think they had it. But anyway, loved finding that there. But what that reminds me of though too, is they had some almond milk selections, but they only had one soy milk and it was the sweetened version. And we don't buy that one. We like the unsweetened vanilla or unsweetened original, and they didn't have it. So that was a little disappointing. But that was everything that we got. Again, I, I don't want this to be like a complaining video at all. We just kind of wanted to give our feedback of like pro and con of what we like thought. Um, I'll definitely go again. I just kind of want maybe even more time for it to maybe get certain things in that they can actually request in per people's recommendations. Right now, I think they've just got like a good variety of everything for their grand opening and it's just not really um, geared towards us yet, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, guys. And of course, in the comments, let me know your thoughts. What do you uh, think of Aldi for those of you that have them? And let me know. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great, great day and I will see you guys.